Hi guys, welcome back to Dub Ventures. Now today's video, if you're a regular viewer of ours, you will see that we did a video about a uh, Volkswagen Caddy budget camper van. Now one of our friends, Steve, he actually bought uh, a Caddy camper van and he wants to get into the van life, you know, the camping, you know, all the things that go with it and everything. But like everybody, you know, he wanted to do it on a budget. So what we did is we documented when he got his van and so on and we documented a few things about it. Now, Steve has just picked me up and what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of an update on his van. So first of all, I'll introduce you to Steve. This is Steve, this is his caddy van. Now, for all the people that haven't um, watched um, the previous video about the budget camper van, let's get things started. How much did you pay for this van? £600 to start with. So he's paid £600 for it and on the first video that we did you spent about £100 on it hadn't you? Yeah. So what we're going to do today, we're going to give you an update as to what he's already done and just to let everybody know, your van is called... Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer because one of our subscribers named his van. So right, we're going to go to a car park, pull over and have a look around his van. So guys, here we have it, the Silver Surfer. Now, the last time that I actually seen Steve's van, um, I was sure, well, if we have a look now, what I know has been done, because we was actually um, here, you had that fitted, um, and I remember you were saying that you was gonna like get things like the rock and roll bed done, you was gonna get it insulated That's and so great, on, so yeah. let's yeah. get the doors open in, ah. see what's inside. Ah. Right, so, just let him open the back door. Straight away, we can see we've well, done the flooring. I can see. Ah, you've done the insulation as well, haven't insulation you? All round. Right. I've even put a new panel on this door, made myself. What on the inside? On the inside, all new panel, all insulated. Right. Let's just have a, if I come round there. If you shut the door there. Ah, yeah, 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 I remember before that was just all like um, opening everything, so, so yeah, so let's just have a quick look around here. So, you've insulated obviously on both all the sides right, yeah. and... You can see it in that corner, obviously I need to... The floor and everything. Yeah. Guys, what you need to remember as well is obviously it's a project and it's still ongoing. This is just an update as to where we're at and obviously we'll talk costs in a minute. Um, that's laminate flooring, I'm no, assuming. No. no? No, this is uh, vinyl glue down. Ah! You glue it down for your bathroom. Right. Uh, Ideal. Spray adhesive, and it's the same as laminate flooring. You put it down, cost right. me a fiver. Fiver for 12, 12 pieces. On a budget, five pound. Uh, so, I mean, okay, so, the you've bed, got the seating. This does from, turn into a bed, yeah. yes? The bed ah, is actually from Ikea for 100 pound. Okay, does that come um, with a mattress as well? Yeah, and I've had to, as you can see there, I've had to cut it and alter it and re-weld it back yeah. up and put it back together. Steve's actually a uh, welder, um, that's what he does as a trade uh, now, obviously doing things like this. I couldn't yeah. do things like this, but for you obviously it's, uh, it's quite easy. Yeah, so my wife bought the bed, uh, 100 pound from Ikea, she saw it and thought it'd be a great idea to actually do this. Okay. So I took the pelt poles to work, shortened it by two inches so it could fit. Um, it folds into a perfect full length bed, which I can show you. Yeah, well, uh, let's just have a look around the back of it, just show it, see what it looks like from behind. So have you actually fitted it sort of in yet? Or no, it's, so that, it just sits in. Right, I've not it screwed it in yet. Are, are you going to screw it I am going to do, yeah. So, so it's going to like a permanent yeah. So it'll, what I'll do is I'll make some brackets at work when I weld them and then when I when I want to take the seat out, I can do, but when I want to put it back in, mm -hmm. I just put it here, click, solid. Right. Now the thing is, I'm assuming you're not going to be sort of carrying passengers in this, no. because obviously no. it's just a rock and roll bed no. for yourself. It's so if anybody's yeah. watching thinking, you know, that's not regulation. No, 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 it, no it's, it's not for that, it's someone, not for that. Someone I know did say, because the hole's here, to put seat belts in. Right. There. Now, I wouldn't recommend it. Mm -mm. I wouldn't do it myself. I yeah. Wouldn't. So, no. An IKEA bed, um, <laughs> it's, a bed. It's, probably not been, it's probably not been tested to no. carry passengers. No. So, so just in case anybody was thinking, well, you know, you can't carry passengers on that. No. He's got no intention of carrying passengers. So, right, let's get a demo of the rock and roll bed. Yeah. 
It is a lot easier sometimes. Because I left the cushion on. Let's just go around the back and watch it. Fantastic. Now, yeah, some people might be looking and thinking, oh, yeah, but it's just like a little bit. Listen, it's a bed. You literally, right now, could travel to Scotland, France, anywhere, park up. Camp out. You've got your camp out, you've got a bed for the night. Got all my spare storage underneath. You've got your storage underneath, which is I've like typical of a lot of rock and roll beds. i that because obviously the blow up mattress cost me, I think, a fiver. So that's my pence. Yeah. Blow it up, put it on top. Mm. Uh, Do you just lie on it just to like sh give like a bit of a demo sort of like how how much room and I mean that's just like a perfect size I do apologize for the pink shorts I've just pointed them out before <laughs> but I'm gonna ask him about them after but you know <laughs> might have to like uh, change them on the filter but yeah loads of room but you know again camper van on a budget it, like 600 pounds for the van it cost me 600 pounds for the van yep. it cost me uh, the door which I fitted myself. Yeah, we, we did that in the last video, we, we uh, documented that. The insulation I got from B&Q, um, mm. I think it's 12 quid for a bag. The door panel from the side, I actually got off an old pallet. Right. Uh, the flooring cost me a fiver. I had my wife's friend who deals with laminate flooring and stuff, mm. give it a pack for a fiver, 12 pieces. Mm. No, sorry, 15 pieces, not 12. Right. The adhesive, uh, I think that cost me three quid. Um, and just my time, really. And so far, so Sit, good, you so know what I mean? So because good, literally, yeah. you literally, literally are at the point where if you want to go camping, mm. you could do. You mm. could go anywhere and you could stay over, you know what I mean? Mm. Just like throw a cooker underneath and things like that. Perfect, so. The bulkhead. Um, yes, got, that, that's something that I noticed when I got in. The uh, the bulkhead was in last time, but obviously that's been removed well, now. When you remove the bulkhead, it leaves like a gap down the sides. So it's like a big gap. Right. So I wasn't wondering how to do it. Anyway, right. I saw a guy on video on YouTube when I was doing a bit of research. Okay. And he said he just cut it, which he had, which I've done exactly what he's done, and right. you can cap it right all up to it, right. all over it, right. so okay. it all blends in nice. And you've got like some storage up there, just yeah, noticed. So. Storage up there, I've got mm. storage behind the seats. Mm. My leisure battery is going behind the passenger seat, right. and then obviously I'll wire my wires through to where my plugs are. Which this is a perfect place for it because yeah. it's already I can make a stainless steel panel at work to put it on. Right. Ideal. You know, right. off you go. Right, let's have a quick look around the outside because you've changed the headlights as well, haven't I've you? I've done the headlights, yeah. Let's go and have a look at that. Yeah, they look smart. They're LED yeah. lights, aren't they? Well, I originally bought them for... Um, I had a Volkswagen Bora Highline TDI. Right. Uh, 19 TDI. P1, P130 engine in it. B bulletproof car. Okay. Uh, in the end, I ended up getting rid of it to get my Audi Q2, which I did wish I didn't, I mean, because I've, I've, I love that car. Mm. But I bought them Angel Eyes for that Bora, right. and ended up putting them in here. I ended up taking the lights apart, spraying okay. all the insides matte black, mm. gluing the Angel Eyes in, wiring it all up, putting the fuses on, so if they blow, they blow the fuses, not right. anything on my van. Mm. Uh, trial and error really but I think they look pretty smart fantastic and again um, it's not really cost you anything because you already had them so this one I'm in the middle of uh, ordering some bulbs for the xenons so it blends in with them so it's all nice and white and crisp right. uh, the indicators I'm gonna get the brighter LED ah uh, right okay bulbs for them right and the backlights I might tint them a little bit but use the proper LEDs but get the resistor for it because I've noticed if you put an LED light in the back it trips out on the dash right 
So I need a, re a resistor to say yeah. that because they're yeah. a different voltage. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realise that, but I've had to do a lot no. of research into all this. Okay, so what are your plans? Now, obviously, you said you're doing the ledger battery, things like that. Yeah. Did you say you're carpeting the I need inside? To the inside first. Okay. Then, uh, take these metal panels out to let more light in. Are you putting windows in? There's windows already in. Oh, is there? Yeah. Ah, really? They're okay. glass. They're already in. So how are you going to get you unscrew that these. Oh, do they unscrew? Yeah, ah, so you'd have to cut it out? No. So they just How good is that? Off. Normally you have to like, cut the yeah. uh, thing out and put the glass in, but they're already in. No, they're already in. Is that so standard on these? Standard, also? yeah, I oh, believe right. so. Okay, that's um, fantastic. So I can take them out. Right. Carpet all the inside, that's my plan next. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to put my leisure battery in. I mean, well, I might just do the wiring first up to the leisure battery and then cap it already because I'll just want to put a socket here, mainly mm. like for a cool box or something that right. was underneath. Right. Keep my cans of popcorn yeah. and stuff. Excellent. Um, oh, brilliant. You've done really, really well considering the cost and um, obviously that you spent. I'd, I'd say this fan at the moment stands me at probably about eight and a half hundred quid tops. Eight and a half hundred pounds. I've seen a set and, of and wheels. Look, that I want for hundred pound. Uh, right. RS, RS wheels off an Audi or something. Right. Um, but they're not. It's not one of them. You know, it's not essential. But yes. Later on, I can. Well, the thing is, with the money that you've spent on it, you can afford to sort of like, um, you know, like pimp your ride a little bit, yeah. can't you? Um, you know, like make it like look the part and so on. Yeah. Engines running sweet and everything. Um, Next time you see, it, I'll get rid of all this. I've made my own bars for the side at work out of right. um, tube. Right. I'm trialing it on just normal mild steel, but I might get stainless, welded stainless up myself, put it all on. Mm -hmm. uh, the front bumper, I'm going to take that off because I've seen uh, I've, actually a Golf Mark 5 Golf GTI bumper with all the fancy grill will actually fit straight onto this van. Right. No messy. Right. To make it look a bit sportier and you know, like all these bands, yeah, yeah. you know, make it look, you know, mm. blend in with the lights. You know what, and, I, I, you know? I'm kind of like, I'm really like buzzing the fact that, obviously, I mean, I've known Steve a long time, we said that in the last video, and obviously when he's like, I mean, he's up and running now, he could like essentially come camping with us now, you know, which is brilliant. Um, and all that, myself, the front yeah, there, okay. over the steering wheel, put new steering wheel on, sports wheel. Oh yeah, you put a uh, new you, wheel, with Boss. Um, yeah, I've been pretty busy. <laughs> Guys, eight and a half hundred pound. Okay, you know, he's done like a lot of the work himself, um, you know, and you do have to have sort of like skills to be able to do that. But come on, budget cam fan, eight and a half hundred pound. Fantastic. What guys, a good thing about your rock and roll bed design that you've got there on a campsite, you could pull that out and sit on it as a sun lounger. And sit on it as a sun lounger. I've actually done that in my garden. Have you? <laughs> I am. Um, also, the bodywork will be the last thing to do. I know it looks a bit scruffy, but the inside needs to be livable before the outside. Exactly. So, exactly. Pointless having a brand new spanking, all sprayed up, singing, dancing van when you can't sleep in it. So do the inside. Outside is cosmetic, that can be last. So guys, that's uh, an update on the Silver Surfer. A lot of you have been asking about, obviously, where he's been up to with it and everything, and it just shows you can live the van lifestyle. I mean, you've not, like, had the joy of camping out and that. That's oh, yeah. obviously, you know, an excitement for you to come and everything, but, you know, it can be done on a budget, and we will keep you updated he's eight and a half hundred pound in so far and he's got a camper van so you know just stay tuned and keep watching for more videos to come if you are new to the channel and it's the first time that you're on here please hit that subscribe button really right. really appreciate it and as Steve just said subscribe we won't rehearse it this time last video we rehearsed it and it, it come across a little subscribe, bit funny didn't it subscribe. subscribe so anyway guys like I said quick update on the budget camper van the silver surfer so for me and Steve until the next video Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye.